Attempt number two. I accidentally recorded this video already, and I accidentally deleted it. So here's attempt number two. Uh, I'm just going to properly show you guys how to throw a card, basically. That's it, because I got cards. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> First of all, if you've never thrown a card, like paper card, get yourself going to your wallet. You sit one of these plastic cards. So much easier to throw. You basically throw them anywhere you want, and they'll throw like I'm about to show you. So, most people throw it either like this, and then they f screw up, or like this, or like this. I hold it like this sometimes. Most of the time, I hold it like this, which you like to do. Cut it, not as far as I'm showing you right now, and then just like peel it, have a firm grip on it, I mean, um, hold on it. And then what you want to do is just gently release. And it goes, and as soon as you get more practice into it, and such and such, you can throw it faster, more wrist throw, and better accuracy. I've gotten, I've, what, how I practice, okay, that was really difficult to say for me. How I practice was in fourth grade, I, you know those origami ninja stars? It's a two piece thing. I took those in fourth grade, I could like throw them at a piece of paper and cut them. Like, I was super good with that. And I'm like, why don't I try out the card? And I threw it, and I was way worse, but I could still throw it like a ninja star. So if you guys have the time and patience to make a ninja star, do that, or you can just go into your wallet and get a plastic card. And just start like, just take it and just easily break it. How I learned how to get that perfect, um, um, I forgot what it's called, like 50-50 of wrist and power. Once you take it, and if you could do that, and it stays level, that's the perfect level. Now, I'm still not the perfect card thrower like Rick Smith Jr. Um, I'll leave a link in the description of his review. Um, that's how I learned how to do it. He also shows like some other ways. I uh, throw it like, at the camera, like this. Oh, set that bad. Like that. He holds it. And does other stuff. Holds. Oh, geez. Does like that. I don't know. I'm not the best at it. And another. And another way to throw a card is like this. Kind of. I don't know. I'm just. I'm good at like that. And. <laughs> All right. Now. I'm going to throw cards at you from over there. And I will see you over there. Woo -doo. Here we go. In standard cards. I'm. Whoa, it's a little angle. So I'm gonna hit you at an angle. So what I mean by perfect wrist flick and um, like, did you see how that like stayed level? That's what I mean. It just went directly. That one was a little bit too much wrist flick. That one was too. That one was way too much. That one was perfect. That one was also perfect. You know what I'm saying now? That one was big. I felt it when I heard it. Get some more cards. <laughs> I'm on a big card deck pile. I was way too high. Whew. That, I don't think that was my fault. Whoa, that jumped twice. That was not my fault. Because the cards here are not the best. <laughs> 
I'm trying to hit you guys, I promise. I'm not just trying to throw around for fun. That one was for fun. Oh my! <laughs> to the office. Your oh, camera's good. A little bit more. Just a little. And just. No. Actually, wait, I need to aim. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna count that. Okay, so please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll leave Rick Smix Jr. in his uh channel and his video in the description i will also leave my social media platforms down there the ones that i have and yeah that's, that's basically it okay see you later and bye bye stay random